Hello my people, welcome to Gallant Chronicles. Today marks a momentous occasion in the heart of our state as our able governor, Dr. Alex Otti, flags off yet another transformative project, the Umuahia to Akara Junction Road. Join us on this journey of hope and progress as we delve into the details of this exciting initiative aiming to connect communities and spark a revival of prosperity across Abia State. In a day filled with anticipation and excitement, Governor Alex Otti officially kicked off the construction of the Umwahia to Akara Junction Road. Addressing the gathered crowd, he laid out a vision that not only focuses on the physical infrastructure, but also ignites hope and encouragement for the people of Abia. Governor Otti, always with an eye on efficiency and timely delivery, revealed a strategic plan to expedite the project. He announced that not one, not two, but three construction companies would collaborate to ensure the road is completed promptly. This move reflects the governor's commitment to addressing the multitude of infrastructure needs across the state. I will play the video where he made this promising speech so that you can hear it directly from his mouth. On that day, as people listened attentively, Governor Alex Otti delivered a message of hope. He reassured the people that this road project is not just about concrete and asphalt, but a lifeline that will connect communities, ease transportation, and contribute to the overall development of the state. A standout moment came when Governor Otti extended an invitation to Abia State billionaires who have ventured beyond the state borders. He urged them to return, invest in their home state and be a part of the transformative journey unfolding under his administration. This call resonated with the crowd, sparking a sense of pride and belonging, giving the assurance that any business established in Abia State now will have maximum security and support. Days are gone when hoodlums were illegally taxing the residents and business owners in a beer state, he said. The reaction from the people was nothing short of joyous. Faces lit up with hope, and the air was filled with an atmosphere of positive anticipation. The belief that a beer state is on the cusp of a new era echoed through the crowd. Now let us hear from the horse's mouth Governor Dr. Alex Otti. What we have come here to do is to set the tone and let the contractors go to work. When we were campaigning, we told you clearly that we were going to fix Abia. I remember that our uh, Tagline then was a charge to Abia people, and we asked you to weep no more because her was on the way. So we are just keeping to our promise of ensuring that our tears of several decades are wiped away so that our people will stop weeping. There are a lot of challenges for which we have seen protests in different cities and states. And those challenges have to do with the realities of the economy. Exchange rate keeps changing every day. Inflation is about 30% at the moment. Oil prices I mean, fuel subsidy was removed and the oil prices have gone up. That's uh, petroleum PMS. So it has become much more difficult to achieve anything. But then, we are convinced that just like our people say, Namburede Nyenedike. And now, when we take a Jamadi, so as a Tambunu, na Uto ni Hesi de, India hai su nae ge nae ge meha. So Ojo na ngalamko, ungu na ngko na abia.
Mkaka umbido Akua bebisa akua Akaranesu everywhere I like to I like to let our people know that we are not in competition with anybody. We are just running our own race. So sometimes when people are comparing us with other governors, I ask what the yastik is. Uh, because our people here have different needs from those whose roads have been fixed. Uh, so we are just comparing ourselves with ourselves. How were we yesterday? And how do we want to be tomorrow? That is what is important to us. Uh, so let's forget about the uh, best governor and all that. There's no yastik. We don't want to be best governor. We just want to be governors that served our people. So the whole idea of uh, fixing and reconstructing this very important road. I'm told it's about 67 kilometers from here to the part of Ohafia where it will terminate. And we selected three contractors because we divided the road into three sections. It's not as if one contractor could not have done it. But we're in a hurry. We want to recover lost grounds. So we do not have time to spend. So if we gave it to one contractor, maybe it would take a lot of time. And that is why we split it into three. And if the information I have is correct, that is about 67 kilometers, then when you divide it into three, you are talking of no less than 22 kilometers apiece. So, and that is still a very long stretch of road. The idea is that we want the road to be completed as quickly as possible. So I'm happy that I have Sabah and his team here, the management of uh, Krembok. Thank you for coming to join us. You have performed in different places to standard, and we have no doubt that you are going to do an excellent job here, just like the Osa Road that uh, you have been doing. They are the ones doing the Osa Road, and we are happy with the pace of work. So well done. Uh, I would like to assure you that we have competent engineers who would be keeping watch. Not because we don't trust you, but we want to be sure that what we signed on the contract is exactly what is delivered. And I would like to also tell you that um, you will be seeing me from time to time, sometimes with my measuring tape, coming to cross-check that uh, what we are paying for is what we are getting. So we don't tolerate um, hanky-panky, low-quality job. We will not tolerate it. So thank you very much for the commitment to do an excellent job. Most importantly, you know us, there are no cost overruns, variation, uh, time overall. So everything will de be delivered based on the specification that was agreed. And I believe you are supposed to deliver the road in six months, right? Uh, uh, I got grace. God has given us grace already. So I've gotten the commitment of the management of Crane Walk that uh, this road will be delivered to specification and in the record time that we have agreed. So um, we want our people to move on roads that are more travel.
We want people who are doing business in all the nooks and crannies of Abia to be able to evacuate their products and come to the townships to sell them. We want all our leaders to feel free, who, those who live in Lagos, Port Harcourt, Abam, Waiha, Owere, to feel free to come back to their villages, spend time, be there over the weekend, spend money in the villages and stimulate the economy in the villages so that our people will also have a good life. That is how an economy works. So my challenge to all our brothers and sisters from Ohafia, Abreba, Ibere, Bende, Akara, Uzuakoli, Uzuitem. You know we have a lot of big men there. Uh, they should, I'm challenging them to come back more frequently because we are fixing the road. So distinguished ladies and gentlemen, uh, let me thank you for the support that you are giving this state, the support you are giving the government that you elected yourself, your own government. And I would like to challenge you to continue to support this government. I challenge you to carry out your civic responsibilities of paying your taxes, paying your and tariffs, and giving overall support to this government so that together we can build a prosperous state. So, on that basis, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I would like to thank you for being part of this event and thank you for listening to me. And if we are ready, we will proceed to the sea where we will cut the tape. I know that cream work has already started. They are in a hurry, so that is very good. As we toured the area, we could sense the unity and anticipation among the communities that will be directly impacted by this road. The prospect of enhanced connectivity and improved infrastructure has ignited a sense of collective pride and excitement. Governor Alex Otti's vision goes beyond the construction of roads. It's about transforming Abia State into a hub of progress and prosperity. The Umohia to Akara Junction Road project is just one piece of a grand puzzle that will reshape the landscape and redefine the narrative of our beloved state. Dear viewers, as we immerse ourselves in the promise of a brighter future for Abia, I urge each one of you to be a part of this journey. Like, share, and subscribe to Gallon Chronicles to stay connected with the latest updates on the Umohia to Akara Junction Road and other transformative projects. Your engagement contributes to the collective narrative of hope and progress. Stay tuned for more exclusive content. We have other exciting road projects that will further enhance connectivity across Abia State. The momentum of progress is unstoppable, and we want you to be a witness to the transformation. Thank you for joining us today on Gallant Chronicles. As we celebrate this milestone, remember that every brick laid and every road constructed is a step toward a brighter tomorrow. Let's continue unveiling the progress and promise of Abia State together. Until next time. In the building, yeah, he's the king. Making Abia State look like a dream. From the roads to the buildings, it's a sight to see. You buy vibes in Nigeria, that's the key. He's got the vision, he's got the plan. Turning Abia State into the heart of land. Investors pouring in, opportunities for all. Abia's on a mission, he's standing tall. I'll be a state of fire, yeah, we're on the rise Artists the governor, he's got the prize Why you to Apple, we're feeling so fly Let's governor, run, we need Let to me try. tell you about a man He's 
the government, but he's more than just a brand. Dr. Alex Marty, yeah, he's got that vision. Turn his happy estate into a futuristic mission. Oh, yeah, he's bringing change, breaking the mold. Making a be estate shine like diamonds and gold. Clean streets, new buildings, it's a sight to see. He's making a be estate look like Dubai, you see. Oh, Dr. Alex Marty, he's the man with the plan. He's building bridges, yeah, he's taking a stand. A be estate's rising, reaching for the sky. Dr. Audi, you're the best, no need to ask why. Hey, a be estate, let me tell you about a man. Dr. Alex Audi, yeah, he got the master plan. He's the governor, shining bright like a star. Working hard to take us from a beer to Dubai. Uh, he's changing the game, ain't no one like him. Fixing roads to schools, join the winning team. Invest in the tech, bringing jobs to the youth. Audi's the truth, yeah, he's speaking truth. I be a state, we on top, nothing can stop. Dr. Alex Adi, he's the cream of the crop. From the east to the west, we all celebrate. Adi's the best, making that be a state look like Dubai. Hey, a be a state, let me tell you about a man. Dr. Alex Adi, yeah, he got the master plan. He's the governor, shining bright like a star. Working hard to take us from a beer to Dubai. Uh, he's changing the game, ain't no one like him. Fixing roads to schools, join the winning team. Invest in the tech, bringing jobs to the youth. 